Good morning, mister. Did you have fun last night? Man, look at them fall colors. It's getting so beautiful here right now, and I can't believe how fast it's turning. Look at this. Look at all them beautiful leaves. Man. The worst part is with all the rain we've been getting lately, it's the leaves probably aren't going to last very long because they're going to turn, get rained on, and the rain's going to knock them off. Which is kind of discouraging. Andy, what are you up to? Huh? Pluto. A lot of people keep asking and wanting to know when we're going to be harvesting our pigs. The end of October is when we'll be harvesting the pigs and getting them ready for freezer camp, as they call it. Good morning. How's everybody doing in this pen? Looking good. Plenty of feed and water. This mama loves to fill loves to fill her water dish with grass doing a good job though taking care of the kids it's been kind of chilly lately Now I'm kind of surprised, this puddle, well, that hole was full almost all the way yesterday with water. Same with over here. So even though it rained yesterday, a lot of that water got soaked in, which is good. But it's supposed to rain again today. I just gotta show off these fall colors. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. And I don't think the camera's doing it justice. That quiche has been delicious lately. I've been enjoying that. Olivia thinks we need to switch it up. We've been having quiche now, I think for three weeks in a row. She said this is our last week before we change it. So we'll see what we'll be making for this week. You girls are so noisy. You're so noisy. For how little you are, you make, can make so much noise. What's up with that? I think the goats know winter's coming because they've been eating so much hay. Between the three of them, they've been going through a flake a day, if not two, including almost another whole one at night, which isn't a lot, but for them, it's a lot more than they've ever eaten here. So I think they must be getting ready for winter and they're starting to bulk up. <clears throat> Getting nice and furry and a little plump. But I figure that's probably a good thing for winter. Does that mean it's going to be a cold one? Do you know something I don't know? Huh? You ready to come out now, Willow? All done milking, huh? You ate all your chaff, hey? Well, I guess I should take some pointers from the goats. And maybe start getting ready for winter again. <sighs> yeah. Plus, it's so muddy out right now, if I get in there with the excavator, we're just gonna make a mess. And it's supposed to rain again today, so. Let's get some wood stacked. I got a couple of other projects I need to get done.
stacking this wood pile is taking a little bit longer than I hoped. So we're gonna do a little magic. We're gonna speed it up. And when I come back, it's gonna be all done. That is gone. Man, I gotta remember that trick for next year. That would've been so much quicker to stack my firewood that way right from the beginning. Oh, guys, don't let me forget about that for next year. I need to clean my chimney and my wood stove before we can use it for the season. It can be a little messy. cleanest job in the world but it's just a little dusty I guess black dust gets all over the place so I clean my chimney and stove three to four times a year once in the beginning of the season and then two or three times during the burning season depending on how long it is my stove is pretty dirty but I run my stove dirty I'll clean out the ash pan, which is full, and I'll clean that outside. But I'm not gonna take all the ashes out if I do. This stove burns way too fast. And we'll just go through firewood like that, and it's just crazy. If I leave it dirty, it doesn't burn so fast. And we get better heat out of it, believe it or not, and we use a lot less firewood. That's all not for me cleaning out the stove this time. I dumped some old ash in there. Now we need to go get rid of it in the compost pile. So it's not, it's a waste, but it's gonna be a waste product we get to put in our compost pile and grow our food with next season. Win-win. It's a perfect 
good day to put that in the compost pile. It's supposed to rain here in a little bit, so that'll get it wet, get it soaked into the pile, and it'll keep it from blowing around. We live in northern New Hampshire, growing zone 4B. We can get winter for six months of the year, like we did last year. And when I built and designed the house, most of the way I built my house and designed it was around that heating system. I wanted the chimney to be outside so I could clean it outside and keep most of the mess outside, but heat most of my, or heat the whole house with no electricity. And we accomplished that with this wood stove and this setup in the layout of our house upstairs is designed all around the heating system too. All right, now we're ready for winter. But shh, I don't want it. So they're calling for a frost tonight, so we gotta get this pepper plant in a bucket. We wanna try to overwinter it. Everybody keeps saying you can overwinter pepper plants, so we're gonna try it. Once in your bedroom. No. No? Why not? Let's see if we can get it in there without too much mess. Put it in the hole, baby. Oh, it don't fit, Olivia. What the heck? Perfect, right for your bedroom. Oh, it oh, oh. There it goes. I like it. We'll have to see how it does there throughout the winter. I'm gonna try not to blink while you do this. Okay, let's see if you can do it. All right, do we wanna make chicken noodle soup with egg noodles or do we wanna make it with rice? Egg noodles. Egg noodles, all right. Homemade egg noodles? Yes. Sounds good. And we need our chicken stock. And our chicken. Don't forget this time we want to add corn. Huh? We want to add corn to it this time. Okay. Don't you take some corn out then? No, I'm frozen. Look, that'll be fine. I'm peeling over the bowl. I'm not even getting it in. Oh man, I'm already starting to cry. Are you really? Mm-hmm. What helped you last time? Usually doing it this way, I don't cry. These onions are strong. Huh? I'm not crying. You're lucky. Maybe if I see him right here. We have a tip on the cutting board.
And that's why you need pads on things. Peel the cabbage back a layer or two. Oh, that's cabbage? This is cabbage, yeah. Oh, uh, that's nice. Oh, cabbage. I put it in our last soup we made, it was good. bag of frozen corn. I'm using pre-cooked chicken. the lid on. I'm going to set it to soup for seven minutes. Now we can add the noodles. This looks nice and hot. Don't burn your tongue, will you? Got a batch of elderberry syrup brewing over here. It's supposed to get down to freezing tonight. Yeah, for sure. You're not staying out there. Mama, the loosest is. She helped peel the carrots too.
a cup of raw honey. One second. 